Well, hello and welcome to this tutorial where we will be uh, doing a review of logging into your WordPress blog. Uh, what we're going to do is uh, go step by step through the procedure necessary to log into the back end of your website. And uh, to do that, um, you will go to your web page. Uh, you see here we have uh, in the browser uh, the domain address for the website discoverydental.creativewebdesign123.com uh, now your domain would eventually be discoverydental.com um, right now it's on our server however when yours is made uh, public and published uh, you will have a different domain address Regardless of what your domain address is, it's very simple to log into WordPress simply by clicking on the address bar. You see the blinking cursor and typing slash wp admin. And when you click push the enter key on your keyboard, you will be redirected to the back end of your WordPress website. This is the login screen you see um, the WordPress logo which will take you actually to the WordPress website uh, you see username password remember me login lost your password and hit clicking here you go back to the front end of your website let's go back to where we were before I just want to mention that the lost your password screen is available by clicking on the link at the bottom of the login screen you can enter in your username or email and click the get new password button it will be emailed to you this is convenient if you forget your password let's go back and let's actually pause and go and get I'm, I'm going to actually go and get my password which is in my email and I'm going to paste it in and I will show you what it looks like on, uh, to log in to the dashboard for WordPress. All right, now I have gone to my Gmail and checked out what the um, the username is for this account. It happens to be WP Toronto. Of course, you could type it in. I happen to already have it there, and you will have a password, which is a very long, um, complicated set of numbers upper and lower case letters and possibly even symbols I've copied that to my clipboard and I'm just going to paste that in right now and to log in simply click on the login button I want to mention about remember me if you click remember me then it will automatically fill in your password once you type in your username please be careful not to do that on a public computer or which would allow somebody to hack into the back end of your website so it's best to leave that unchecked if there are any security issues once you click on login you will log in to the back end of your website let me do that once more I'm gonna log out and I'm actually going to type in the wrong address uh, I mean the wrong password I'm gonna paste in password but I'm going to remove a few of the letters and I'm going to show you what happens if you type in the wrong password now you see that uh, the error message appears that says the password you entered is incorrect you can then use the lost your password screen or just type it again and once it's correct this screen will disappear and you will log in to your dashboard um, I'm also going to not save the password and I suggest that you don't save passwords for security reasons here we see the dashboard of WordPress uh, along the screen from left to right you see the toolbar which has links to very important pages that are necessary for the maintenance of your website um, posts, uh, media which includes video and images, links which are managed from the back end, pages, also comments which might be available, 
and the FAQ frequently asked questions plugin uh, products which is not being used right now but which is available quotes info boxes pricing blocks theme options the appearance plugin users tools settings and other items such as contact smart YouTube socialize now you'll notice that once I click on the arrows that I can roll up the toolbar uh, into its very smallest form you can see what page you're on by this gray arrow you can also click to collapse the menu to maximize your screen place as a screen um, the room in the screen and you can go into a smaller toolbar mode to bring it back again you simply click on the collapse menu button and we go from the larger to the smaller view to click to go back to the dashboard you see a flyout menu appears showing all the sub items available to you this is the name of your website if you click on this link it takes you to the front end you will not need to log in again at the top of the toolbar you will see there is um, a toolbar which allows you to manage your website from the front end instead of having to log in and log out this is a very convenient option available on WordPress we're just going to go back to the back end on the dashboard you have recent comments and the news from creative web design one two three and in the upper right hand corner we have your name uh, we also have screen options uh, which will allow you to show and hide certain elements the help menu and here we see log out and your profile your profile is where you want to if you wanted to change your password you could do simply by clicking in the new password here and going update profile now you'll see that your nickname is Dr. Shields but the email that is used is not your email uh, for now uh, we've left it as my email uh, which you can eventually change that email once the site is active in your name let's go back to the dashboard front end again and we will save uh, this is basically the end of the brief introduction to logging into your dashboard and a brief overview of the WordPress screen the next tutorial will go into more depth of different aspects of your blog uh, the navigation system adding posts pages and other maintenance tasks thank you very much for watching this tutorial we hope you'll join us again make sure that when you're done you click and log out and then you can click and go back here to the front end of your website thank you very much again for watching this tutorial and we hope you'll join us for the next tutorial. Bye for now.